this is fake, not talk. I don't even know what that's about. Watch your mouth. Baby got it. He gon' twice the size of the crib. I can never tell the shit. It is what it is. Said what I had to and did what I did. What's up guys? It's Corsha Lachelle and welcome to the Cookie Jar. Alright, so hey y'all. It's Sunday. What's today? October 9th? It's October 9th and the 49ers are playing the Panthers at the Bank of America Stadium. Um, we got a group out there tailgating right now and then the rest of us are coming over there later. And then we're going into the game at 4.30. Say hi, best friend. Hi. Say hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Say hi, Chin Chan. Chan. Hi. I was trying to record in the elevator for us. You having fun? Did you hop on on the train? Yes. Yeah, what you doing on the train? Just, just try not to fall. He went on his first train ride, y'all. You so fun? Say hey, Nuni. Hey, Nuni. Hey. 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 I missed it. So we get ready to go into the Panthers game. The tailgate is over. All of my family done went home. And now it's just us going into the game. You ready for your first game? You ready for your first game? Yeah. <laughs> this is his first NFL game. But y'all know my baby team playing. So we all had to come. I've been to, I've been to 300. You've never been to an NFL game. Boy, hush, stop lying. I know. <laughs> but the Panthers deep with it though. I feel like it's half the half. They're not as deep as I thought they was going to be. Working on a weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much. Haven't done my taxes. I'm Man, we done missed kickoff. God. <laughs> we about to turn. Ah. <laughs> my husband is too happy. Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts. Niggas caught me slipping once, okay, so what? Someone hits a block or my tape throws us. Man, a house in ropes where this shit too flush. Say my day the number, but I keep waking up. No, you see my text, baby, please say something. Why am I the glass, man? I'm cheapskate, huh? Niggas got no more, but release their home. Bitch, this is Oh, man, you can't see it. So that's a good It's so good. It don't do it any justice. It don't. see it. You wanna see it? Go ahead. Can you see it? Look at the beautiful moon. <laughs> you can't really see it on the camera here. <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy that y'all can't sit on the front camera, but I did get some with the back camera. Let me come over here. Like, where is it? It's disappeared. Yep. But we we just finished the game. Of course, we won the game, y'all. Y'all already know what time it is. <laughs> and now we about to just head back to our car and then head it, back it, to the house. It, it keep on going down, mommy. And it keep on going down and down. Did you have fun at your first game? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's on went all the way down. It's on you. Did you have fun, baby? Shred, right? I had a ball, man. As always, with fam. <laughs> yeah, it's an orange one. Like we, that song by Eric Badu. Twenty-five. Boy. It was 30 by the time we left. Yeah, 30. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the final Come score is. We're even a little bit early. So I'll see if I can get a screenshot of the final score from like our phone or something. Monday morning. <clears throat> so you guys just saw that we went to the tailgate. <laughs> My voice is a little bit gone this morning. Actually, y'all, it's not Monday morning. I am lying to you guys. It is Monday evening, Monday afternoon. This morning was hard as fuck for me. Y'all see, I took my wig off. Still got glue on there. Still got my makeup on. Matter of fact, this makeup is from, let's see, what was it? From Saturday when we went to Eddie V's. Hold up. Let me insert some clips from the weekend. Here's a little recap of my Saturday night. So we started out with dinner at Eddie V's, which is a steakhouse uptown Charlotte. I ordered the 24 carat as a drink. And when I tell you it was worth the price because one drink will put you in there, okay? 
and then we ordered dinner i had an eight ounce filet mignon which is my favorite cut of meat by the way if you don't know that by now my girlfriend she got shrimp with some crab on top i didn't have any because i'm allergic and of course for my side i got my favorite truffle macaroni and cheese which i only eat from eddie b's it's one of my favorite and me i love my steak medium to medium well anything past that has like it's overkill the steak and we had some type of banana bread. When I tell you the dessert was everything, like from the beginning to end, the meal was great. We went outside, took some pictures, went to the liquor store, got something to drink. And I just want to take a quick little moment to show some appreciation to Fuchsia Taylor. Make sure you guys shop on my fam and get your bag because the bag was giving until my dress ripped. But it's okay. It did not ruin anything. Even with the dress malfunction and it ripping in the bag and somebody was like, you know your dress busted open, girl. We still went and enjoyed the view on this rooftop at Fahrenheit where we had some drinks and enjoyed the fire. We got with a couple of different people, took some more pictures, and it was just a vibe. I just enjoy it being in their company. They're not twins, but they are sisters. We took some more pictures, and this is the end of the night. Hope you guys enjoy it. This makeup is from that night when we went out to Eddie V's in Fahrenheit. My dress ripped, by the way, so we had to end our night early. But nonetheless, woke up the next morning and went tailgating. And we were rushing and I didn't feel like taking my makeup off. So I wore the same makeup to, um, where we go, to the tailgating and to the actual football game. So now it's time for me to take it off and I'm just going to take it off with this Hadari. Um, face face wash you guys have probably saw it in one of my other videos it's really one of my favorite foundations this is not sponsored by the way just shouting them out because i love the product um if y'all want a referral code or something like that let me know and i can get you one <clears throat> anywho about to wash my face and then we're gonna have a little girl chat about some topics that have been bothering me okay because this morning was rough i don't even know what that's about watch your mouth baby got an ego twice the size of the crib i can never tell the shit it is what it is all right, so I'm back after washing my face. I'm actually about to do a little face mask, but let me give you guys a little update on me. Just something real small. I got my nose pierced, which let me insert a clip of me getting my nose pierced because it's so much that y'all have missed in my life. Here's a quick video of me going to get my nose pierced at Ecology in North Lake Mall. <laughs> you go right here. Mm. What you think? Okay, so what you think? Oh yeah, that's good. That's yeah. good. Get yourself relaxed, and then tell me when, and I'll tell you when to breathe. Okay. All right. So these are the little clamps. Alright, let me take a nice deep breath in and out. And that was it, you did great. Just a nice couple of pinch. Alright, next is the jewelry. Oh, I water that's it. Yes, everybody has water. Don't feel bad about that. You see how I'm grabbing underneath her nose? Uh-huh. And tighten the top. If you don't grab it underneath, you'll just spin the whole piece of jewelry and you won't tighten it. Okay. okay. Same thing when you're going to take it out. If you don't grab underneath the loose in the top, you won't actually be able to get it out. <laughs> you look cute, cute right? Thank you. <laughs> All right, there we go. And you like it? See, so you like it better once the jewelry is in it. Like it I do. It. Yeah, it looks like it where it's supposed to be. Yeah. When I say y'all have missed so much, y'all have missed so much. I might just do a whole separate life update video, like Arnell Armon did, because I don't think I posted <clears throat> in two months. But even the video that you guys had po that I did post was kind of like a um. It was posted after the fact, so I haven't really given you guys a full life update in about six months. I'm going to give y'all a full update, and I promise y'all it's going to be interesting. It's going to be worth the wait, because there have been so much going on. But let me clean my nose right real quick. And they gave me this little solution to just kind of spray on my nose, but I just spray it on the, um, the Q-tip. It's over my nose. I go through, push it up on my finger, and just wipe it around. She told me to go in this direction to keep it from loosening up, because she said these will fall out, and then once they fall out, then... It, it's hard to put it back in. And she said that the nose ring is the quickest one to close up. All right. And I'm going to do this one on the inside. 
press it down. No, y'all want to see inside my nostrils, but still, get out my boogies off. Got my nose ring done, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this little mask by Hadari, and then I'm gonna wash, rinse this off, and um, rinse this off. But I'm only gonna do it in certain spots. I'm not gonna do a full mask. I'm gonna do the spots that I want to lighten up, which is under my eyes, right here. I'm gonna wash it off, and then I'm gonna start my day, which is five o'clock now, and I'm just not getting out of bed. Like I said this morning. That's what I want to talk to y'all about and kind of chat. This morning was a little bit harder for me because my grandma just passed away, right? <clears throat> and with this particular grandmother, I wasn't really, really close to her. Um, honestly, she probably couldn't even tell you my favorite color if we were to ask her what my favorite color was, right? And to me, that's okay. And normally, I'm, I'm not going to say I'm desensitized to death, but death doesn't normally hit me like it hits everybody else. And I don't know why, I've always just been that way to where I don't take grief very well. So once I found out about my grandmother passing away, I really just did not know how to feel. I didn't know if I was supposed to be sad or upset or anything like that, but it's not, it didn't hit me until like today, you know, and I processed it like, dang, your grandmother really passed away and you're never gonna get the chance to get to know her. You're never gonna get the chance to really tell her your favorite color, or even find out what her favorite color is. So I gotta leave this on for 20 minutes and I wash it off. But let's sit and talk all the way to 20 minutes. So I'm like, you're never gonna um, get the opportunity to really experience her and she won't get the experience to, um, to get the chance to experience you. So this morning, y'all, it just hit me really, really hard. And like, I just broke down and cried in the shower. Like, dang, I really lost my grandmother. And I don't know if it was more of a grief cry or more of a regretful cry, but have anybody ever experienced that? And if so, like, how did you cope with it? Um, if you don't know, there was a lot growing up to where I wasn't really raised full time by my biological mother. I was raised by some other people, like somebody else and, you know, other family members. Um, and this would have been my grandmother on my dad's side or one of my dad's sides. And that it was just a wedge or a disconnect there. But if you ever dealt with that, how did you deal with it? How did you get over it? How did you get past it? Because I think that I'm more of having the feeling of regret than anything, if that makes sense. I think like for me in my personal life, I put on this, this not even a persona, but like when I'm talking to people and people ask me about like, how do you feel? I'm like, oh, you know, I really didn't even care. I didn't even get affected by my grandmother passing away. But like deep down inside, like it really did bother me. But because I've told my friends and family that it didn't bother me, it's like nobody's checking in and nobody's, you know, like really talking to me about the topic. It's just kind of been like, oh, of course she doesn't care and then we don't care, you know? So here I am sharing it with you guys, trying to get some public feedback. But yeah, I'm not gonna keep the whole little sad thing going. I'm gonna um, wash this off in about 20 minutes and I'll be back to talk to you guys after that, okay? All right, I'm back. Finally got it off my uh, my face. Like, I don't know if y'all can notice the difference because I got dark circles under my eyes, as a lot of us do. Let me pull this down because that's quite disgusting. Um, but this turmeric face wash, like this stuff, just do what it need to do. I'm gonna my toner over here so I can get ready to be the fake Beyonce wannabe that I am. <laughs> okay, that was petty. That was petty. Hold on one second, y'all. I um. I had a girl say that I was a was a Beyonce wannabe. Like to me, that is people projecting. Like when people say stuff like that, like you want to be Beyonce so bad, you want to be this so bad. I ain't never said in my mouth that I wanted to be Beyonce, but somewhere in your little heart, you feel like <laughs> I'm comparable to Beyonce. That you think I want to be Beyonce, so I take that as a compliment. Shit, I do want to be Beyonce, but I promise you, I ain't out here acting like it every single day. Beyonce is that girl giving it to them. I'ma set this and let it stay fresh and then I might do something to my hair later on might not because I don't have to do nothing for the rest of the week until the end of the week my son's birthday is on Thursday Wednesday it's on Thursday it's the 13th his birthday is on Thursday and then his party is on Saturday so I don't have to do nothing really until the end of the week I got clients during the week of course but I'll be getting cute when I be doing my clients but yeah all right so yeah this is what my skin looking like after washing it I just want to end this video on a quick little chit chatty all over the place note I'm gonna do another little chit chat sit down with you guys so that I can address common misconceptions about Portia Lachelle like me wanting to be the fake Beyonce want to be that I was that's what that comment was about we're gonna get into that or like me supposedly losing my salon suite because I didn't want to pay the rent like the rent was $1,200 a month, baby. As a hairstylist, you know we can make that in a day. Like, stop playing on my top, but whatever. Um, 
So I'm gonna address some common misconceptions about Portia Lachelle. I'm gonna address some crap that's been going on for the past few months on my channel coming soon. I'm gonna do Vlogmas. Vlogmas is about to be lit. So make sure you are tuned in for Vlogmas. Drop me some Vlogmas ideas down in the comment section below on what you wanna see moving forward. Y'all know if I don't do nothing else throughout the year, I'm gonna do Vlogmas. I already got my um, intro, um, what do you call it? My intro thing ready to be filmed with Jewel. We're supposed to be filming that on the 30th of November, no, October, the 30th of, of October, then the other half, the 30th of November, so she can edit it and have it ready for December 1st to go out for Vlogmas. So I'm ready for Vlogmas this year. I'm excited. But drop some um, video ideas below because I only got like maybe 15 to 16 ideas for Vlogmas and the rest of the time, I'm going to be winging it and getting ideas off of what y'all want to do because you can't, you can do anything you want for Vlogmas, but you can't really do it because you got to try to stick to a thing. You get what I'm saying? But yeah, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, and tell a friend, and comment to your girl. Again, thank you guys for 10K subscribers. You're on the way to 11K and up, up, and away. Follow my TikTok, which is right here on the screen. Corsha Lachelle on everything. Corsha Lachelle on Twitter. Corsha Lachelle on Snapchat. Corsha Lachelle on Instagram. Corsha Lachelle on Facebook because I am the Corsha Lachelle and Corsha Lachelle is the brand. And I hope y'all enjoyed my nieces and nephews at the beginning of this video who did the what's up guys it's the show to get y'all with me i was so excited they came up for the tailgate y'all but anywho that's been that and i will see you guys in my next video it's your girl course lachelle checking in checking out from the cookie jar